Another Dan has asked a question. I'm a 50-year-old, heavy set, and very stiff, especially my back and hamstrings. My exercise history is limited to, to lots of walking the past 10 years, but nothing else. When I forward bend, I can barely touch my knees. Wow. The allure of kettlebell is very strong. <laughs> what, what is it, the dark side? It is very strong. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. Uh, but I'm afraid of doing the swings because of such limited mobility. And I agree 100%. Uh, you know, I'm a master kettlebell instructor, and I wait on the swing for tons of time. Uh, I want you to look up some of my work. I think, first off, hip thrust might be where you need to be anyway. But hip thrust, both the glute bridge style, which is the isometric, uh, the style where you just have glute bands around, you're pulling your knees apart. Uh, when, I'm on, when I used to be on the road, I used to just lay on my back and do hip thrusts uh, by myself in the, you know, you don't want people watching you do that for too much. Uh, hip thrust, and of course, and then of course, I have two different hip thrust machines in my gym, in my home gym. So I'm a big fan of those. And another one I want you to look up is the, the Bulgarian goat bag swing. It's on this channel. It's my invention. That might be a far better option for you than swinging, okay? Is there a recommended set of stretches or movements that can prepare me for the basic movement requiring requirements of the swing? Well, the thing is you need to learn to hinge. So um, again, uh, Google or just search uh, my YouTube videos here. Look for hinge not fold, look for hinge, how I teach the hinge, the basic drills. And then I have an uh, over on Dan John University, I have a fairly long introduction to kettlebells that might really help you, okay? You have to be a member, but I mean, it's just not that much, okay? Thank you, Dan, I hope it helped. Try the hip thrust and the gold Bulgarian goat bag swings and see how it helps you, okay? Thank you.